come asking for mercy. Meet us, merciful God. We come in need of clarity. Help us, teaching God. We come angry at injustice. Hear us, reconciling God. We come with our hands full of stones. Feed us, caring God. This reading is taken from Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 to 10. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there's a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, will give him a snake? It seems to be becoming harder, not easier, to be a trans person. Around the world, political, societal and religious realities means that trans lives are more often judged than respected, more often trampled under feet than treasured. And yet, trans people are increasingly sharing narratives of euphoria rather than dysphoria, joy rather than mourning, resilience rather than resignation. We are asking for bread rather than stones. This isn't an easy shift though, nor is it a sign that our lives aren't difficult, or dysphoria isn't real. Rather, trans people are increasingly trying to rewrite our own stories. We are knocking on your door. Will you answer? We are seeking help. Will we find it? Hang on, you might protest. We've been through a pandemic and Brexit and are experiencing increasing poverty and division. Don't we have enough to deal with? And there are indeed countless tugs on our resources of time, energy and money. Nevertheless, our reading today calls us to be active rather than passive. One of the hardest questions to answer is the question of why God allows injustice to continue. This reading is clear, though, that we have a role, a responsibility in creating a just world. We have to keep knocking until those in power give all people bread, not stones. We have to keep opening doors until those who close them give up. Trans people are asking for bread, and we are still being given stones. In the UK, where I live, 76% of non-binary people like me said that they avoid expressing their gender identity in public for fear of negative reactions or abuse, and a third had experienced hate crimes. And this is before we even consider the trans lives lost to violence and hatred worldwide, which also disproportionately affects women, feminine people, black and brown people, young people and poor people. 
In other words, the trans lives lost are indicative of the patterns of intersectional oppression against which we must take a stand. We must say their names, and we must feel the heartbreak of those who love the people whose names are still unknown. The story of JJ and Jasmine is a heartrending example of what we have lost. Jeffrey JJ Bright, a 16-year-old trans boy, and his sister, Jasmine Kennedy, a 22-year-old non-binary person, were killed in Pennsylvania in their own home. Jeffrey was known for his laugh and his jokes. Jasmine was described as a sweet, shy and artistic soul, as well as a deeply caring friend. Their favourite quote was, Don't let anyone bring you down. Don't let people tell you that you can't do anything in life. You mean something. And so, with JJ and Jasmine in mind, I ask you again. We are knocking on your door. Will you answer? We are seeking help. Will we find it? In our reading and reflection, we considered the harsh reality of asking for bread and being given stones. And so perhaps these stones might represent the painful realities of the lives that we have lost and the oppression, discrimination and marginalisation and abuse that trans people experience. Let's spend a moment quietly remembering all those we have lost. If you feel able to and would like to read through the list of names of the 409 people who have died in the last year as a result of violence, visit the website shown on screen. Stones can also, however, be used to build, to celebrate, to remember, and to inspire change. A cairn is a pile or stack of stones. The word comes from the Gaelic word cairn. Cairns are traditionally built for many reasons, one of which is remembrance. Today, let's put down our stones our pain, our complicity, and our silence, just for a moment. Let's build a cairn in our imaginations to inspire actions of transformation, of speaking out, of justice. You might like to consider building a cairn or decorating a stone in the coming days or weeks as you remember. Let us pray. Jesus teaches, do not judge or you too will be judged. We pray for those who are struggling to let go of norms, judgments and stereotypes. Creator God, transformational spirit, we pray for change. Jesus explains, First, take the plank out of your own eye, then you will see clearly. We pray for ourselves that we might grow in understanding. Creator God, 
transformational spirit, we pray for change. Jesus suggests, ask and it will be given to you. We pray for those asking for help. Creator God, transformational spirit, we pray for change. Jesus urges, seek and you will find. We pray for those seeking an increase in hope, joy and fullness of life. Creator God, transformational spirit, we pray for change. Jesus assures, knock and the door will be opened to you. We pray for those working hard to open doors. Creator God, transformational spirit, we pray for change. Jesus asks, which of you, if your child asks for bread, will give them a stone? We pray for those putting down their stones and asking for bread. Creator God, transformational spirit, we pray for change. Amen. We are going out from this time of reflection and prayer into a time for conversation and mutual support. As you leave this place, remember the cairn of memories that we have built together and the work that we still need to do if we are to offer bread and life. Remember those we have lost. Remember those we care for. Remember to let God creator, redeemer and sustainer, weave the possibility of transformation through your days. We will remember. Amen. <laughs>